Hey y'all, my name is Paul Borowski. I am the owner for Tutor for Finance, and today we are going to be discussing present value. Present value may be calculated in three ways. You can use the formula method, you can use the Excel method, or you can use the financial calculator method. The problem we are going to be working on is a person will receive a $5,000 payment in two years. If the current discount rate is 6% compounded yearly, what is the present value? The first thing we're going to do is we are going to fill in the calculator method. Even if you're not going to use it, this setup will allow us to take the information from the problem and put it into a structure that we can actually use. So the first section we're going to worry about is going to be the N, and it is the number of years we're going to be dealing with. And the problem is said, we are going to receive the payment in two years. So we'll put a two for the years. The problem also indicated that the interest rate is 6%. For the problem, there is no payment, so we're going to enter a zero. We are looking for the future value, um, the present value. And for the future value, the problem stated is going to be $5,000. Now, if we were going to solve it with a calculator method, we would just put for N2, I 6%, or so 6, payment 0, future value of 5,000, and it would give us a present value. Since we have the calculator um, structure set up, we can use this information, and we can either apply it to the Excel spreadsheet, or we can use formula method. For the Excel spreadsheet, the way we would do it, it would be present value, or PV. Then we would, well, we always start with the equal sign for the Excel. We put the equal sign in the cell. PV. Open up a parenthesis. Then we would um, put the interest rate, interest rate, number of years, payment, and future value. So to substitute, we would open up with the PV. Open up a parenthesis. Now with the Excel, they use R. With the calculator, calculator method, they use I. So we're going to go ahead and substitute 6%. You, you do want to use percent sign with the formula. Then we'll take our N, plug in the 2. Payment, 0. Future value, put in 5,000. You don't want to put in the comma. Close up the parenthesis, and the answer will come back as $4,449.82. The final method, if your instructor requires you to do so, is going to be with the formula. For the formula, it's going to be the present value is going to be the equal sign. Your future value, division sign, open up a parenthesis, one plus your interest rate, we're back to the I, close your parenthesis, and your N, the number, is going to go upstairs as your exponent. When you're doing it with your formula method, the first thing you're always going to do is set up your structure. You're going to hit your equal sign, you're going to hit your division sign, open up your parenthesis, Put, put your addition sign in there. So now what we have is a structure. All we have to do now is just fill in the blanks. Find the future value. We're going to use the calculator method. We're going to pull from there. So we're going to put our $5,000 upstairs. Drop the 1. And we're going to find our I. 0 0.06. And we're going to raise it to the N, which is the 2. Correct that. Here's our step two. Next thing we're going to do, again set up our structure, drop down our 5,000, we're not doing anything with that yet, and we're going to follow our order of operations. 1 plus 0 0.06 will give us 1.06, and we're going to raise it to the 2, and that's going to give us 
one point one two three six. Again, all we did was follow the order of operations. One plus point zero six, you do everything inside the parenthesis, will give us one point zero six. Raise to the second power, 1.06 times 1.06 gives us 1.1236. The final step is going to take our $5,000 and divide it by the 1.1236. That will give us again And then also, same thing for like, um, the calculator method will give us the same answer. Hopefully, this is going to help everyone solve their present value formula problems. And if you all would like a custom spreadsheet with your present value formulas installed, um, please contact me at Tutor for Finance, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.